it's just recording and you can keep up. <laughs> it better not be. I'll be pissed. I'll be pissed. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to ruin it, but I swear. The, uh, the Locky Wallace Relationship Adjustment Test. Um, this is Amanda Robles, Kevin Phillips. Um, all right. On the first one. Circle the dot on the scale line that best describes the degree of happiness, everything considered, of your present relationship. The middle point, happy, represents the degree of happiness that most people get from their relationship. And the scale gradually ranges to one side to those few who are very unhappy, and on the other to those few who experience extreme joy or felicity in their relationship. Uh, what did you circle? Perfectly happy. Perfectly happy? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> right? Okay, so the next box. Uh, state the appropriate extent of agreement or disagreement between you and your partner on the following items. Please check each column. Uh, the handling family finances. Uh, I didn't check anything. We have no family finances. Uh, matters of recreation. What did you check? Almost always. I checked almost always as well, too. Um, demonstration of affection. Almost always. I put always agree. <laughs> I feel like we're pretty affectionate. Think yeah. so? No, I think so. Yeah. But, I don't know. Not just always. Yeah. That is like 100% of the time. Okay. Friends? I Almost always. always. Almost <laughs> always? Tyler. Oh, really? <laughs> I got you. There's one person. Okay. One. Okay, that's not that bad. One person. Um, sex relations. Always. Yeah. Me too. Uh, conventionally, right, good, and proper conduct. I put almost always. Yeah, pretty pretty much on the same page as that, I think. Philosophy of life? I put occasionally disagree. Okay, I put almost always, but because that's what I was like, I mean, like, rarely, but, so, occasionally, rarely, it's a tough yeah. word. I got you. What would you say we disagree on? I don't know. Like, just in general, like, when something comes up, like, it, it's like, I thought, I took philosophy of life, like, a big, like, realm yeah. of and like we do, but it's it's not like it's not like a huge deal. It's mm -hmm. just like it's just like we don't always agree on everything. Yeah, right. But it's okay. Which I think is cool though, right? I mean, we can't be the exact same. <laughs> Ways of dealing with in-laws. I put always agree, but we don't have any in-laws or anything like that. So I just put always your parents. Yeah, your parents are cool, and you seem to like my parents. And we know exactly how you feel about it. So. Right, right. That's so cool. Cool. Okay. Um, for each of the following items, check one response. When disagreements arise, they usually result in. I said C. Agreements by mutual give and take. Me too. Okay. That's what I put. Yeah. Do you and your partner engage in outside interests together? I think I put some. I put some of them. Yeah. Me too. Exactly. Not all of them, because you can't do all of them. You know. Yeah. yeah. I'd say so. I'd say I even say like most. You know. You already are. Yeah. Outside interests. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah. I don't do law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just read books. <laughs> at leisure time, do you generally prefer? I put stay at home. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I put to be on the go. And then I put your partner I, prefers I to be on the go, too. See, I didn't know because, like. Because that's something to be like we, always. Like, yeah, that's, that's, always. Why, that's why I was kind of like, well, I don't know. Because a lot of times, like, when we're on the go, it's not just for leisure time. Yeah, you right. Know? It's like we're on the go for a lot of things. And then finally, when we get a break, it's like, it's like maybe an hour out of like a week. Staying, right? Yeah. So I, I got you. Yeah, I wish there was like a middle marker, you know, yeah. like, yeah. Because I think we have a perfect balance mm -hmm. of it because, I mean, like, the other day we went running on the beach, you know? Yeah. But, like, you know, I mean, but then also the other day we went in and decided we both wanted to bum it out and yeah, watch right. a movie. Watch yeah. a movie, yeah. So, <laughs> hey, so there's got to be a middle marker on that one. <laughs> Do you ever wish you had not committed this relationship? Never. I would never, too. If you had your life to live over again, do you think you would commit to the same person, commit to a different person, or not commit at all? If I ran into a different person, definitely. Okay, yeah, right? Yeah, I said commit <laughs> to the same person. If everything was the same, right? Do you, <laughs> do you ever confide in your partner? In most things. I put in everything. I don't think I really hide anything. I don't think so. What are you hiding? No, I don't think I hide. It's just the fact <laughs> that, like, sometimes I don't talk about everything until, yeah. you know... Absolutely. It's just my personality. Yeah, I got you. But most things? Yeah. It's not that I'm hiding, it's just the fact that I'm just like... Yeah, right? Sometimes why do you want to talk about it? Yeah. I don't talk about everything. 
Okay, uh, for the Love Maps uh, questionnaire, uh, number one, I can name my partner's best friend. For true. True? Okay. Um, I said there's like a few of them. I said your sisters, and then Kat, and then um, I said that's like your top. Hey, Gil, it's pretty good, I think, right? No, no. Is anyone in Charleston, really, besides your sister? Yeah, but they're all kind of, I lump them all kind of, like, yeah. together. Yeah. Zach always explains it like there's a plateau, like there's, like, a best friend plateau, you know, you get, like, yeah. there's, like, not number one through two, there's, like, you get up there, and you're all yeah. best friends, you know? Yeah. So, but then I think that's and, three and of Jesse's them. And Jesse's just holding on. Jesse, yeah, I forgot he's that. Not, he's not quite, that's he's right. not quite there. That's right. Okay, I love Jesse. So, what about mine? So we don't talk as much, but yeah. So I can, okay, question two. I can tell you what stresses my partner is currently facing. But true. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Yeah, thank you. Number three, I know the names of some of the people who have been irritating in my partner's current life. But true. But true. I put true. Yeah. I don't know if anybody irritates me. Yeah. Yeah, that's really rare. I thought when you when I read that one, I just thought about the um, the two ladies that come in here and crazy. <laughs> I thought about them. I was, I was like, I know them, but I, that's why I put true. Okay, number four. I can tell you some of my partner's life dreams. True, true. <laughs> number five. I'm very familiar with my partner's religious beliefs and ideas. Mm -hmm. True. Number six. I can tell you about my partner's basic philosophy of life. Mm -hmm. I put true. Uh, number seven. I can list. The relatives of my my partner likes the best. No, I can I know that your your brother's woman and his her family are big. don't like them, but I don't know their names. Yeah, right. I just know this their shit. I got you. <laughs> and I put I didn't, I didn't even check anything because like I've never heard I've never you like like them all, you know. Yeah, I like all. I mean, I like I have my favorite relatives, but I don't really. Yeah, like who do you like dislike? Like. I don't think you did. Anything. Um, I know my partner's favorite music. For the most part. Right? I feel like that's another hard one. Like, what's like one type of thing? Okay, I can list my partner's three favorite movies. I don't know if I can. Yeah, I put true. <laughs> yeah, I'm tough because I switch, but like, they're always changing too. But like, I put three I just because, uh, what? Lord of the Rings? Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> but that's just one, though. Okay, no, that's not three different movies. Lord of the Rings. Is the Matrix up there? No. Lord of the Rings. Good, okay, so what else? If, Lord, if all three of Lord of the Rings is one movie. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to change my answer. Right? Switch them up? But they're all fantasy, probably. All fantasy. <laughs> okay. I don't think one of the other good fantasy. Um, I really like... You're not big on Star Wars and all that. That's like sci-fi no, fantasy. No, not Star Not Star Wars. I mean, I like Star Wars, yeah, but I'm not... But not like, like really something crazy. Yeah. Crazy. What's yours? Your favorite movies? I don't know. Um, no, it's like a lot. It's like a long. Life. I always hear you talking about TV shows, really. I like mafia movies. Oh yeah. Right. Do you like The Godfather? Godfather's awesome. That's up there, definitely. That's my dad's favorite movie. That's up there. That's a, that's that would probably be up there. I have in the trilogy. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Number three is weird, but one or two are great. <laughs> um. Some last one. Okay, my partner is familiar with what are my current stresses. I know the three times that have been the most special in my partner's life. I put no. Yeah. I figured like opening this business is probably one, mm -hmm. and then the other two, I don't really know the other two. So, I think I won. <laughs> there you go. Right? Um, I can tell you the most stressful thing that happened to my partner as a child. I put yes. I just think stressful when I think like embarrassing when you like play a prank for the uh, first time. But that's embarrassing. That's not stressful. That would be stressful. Okay. That, like, I just put stressful and embarrassing together. Stressful. Uh, there's one on here that like. What was yours? Pretty stressful. And I also, thought, like, I, I also thought about this. I bet stressful was like too when you um you kind of got in trouble at the school that one year. Oh, yeah. That had to be kind of stressful. Definitely. Yeah. Cause it, but when it says child, I'm like, yeah, child? I just put, yeah. I wasn't too stressful. <laughs> as a baby, yeah, yeah. So this child. is pretty awesome. It's like maybe it's like if you want to consider child, it's high school and college. That's what I put it as. That's what I took it as. So I 
can list my partner's major aspirations and hopes in life. Is it true? Yeah. I know my partner's major wor uh, current worries. That's true. My partner knows who my friends are. See? I know what my partner would want to do if he uh, suddenly won the lottery. Yeah, I thought that was cool because we just like talked about that. I mean, it, it was because the lottery was like six hundred fifty million dollars, but everyone was talking about it when we talked about it. What do you think? You know, I said the first thing you do, I said, was probably be like take care of your parents, like parents death. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. I think like I think the first like phone you call. You and I would take care of our, our immediate family. Like first phone call. And then and then any time for me to just travel. Yeah. I can tell you in detail my first impressions of my partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Periodically, uh, I update my knowledge of my partner's world. Mm -hmm. I feel that my partner knows me perfectly, pretty well. Mm -hmm. Yep. My partner's familiar with my hopes and aspirations. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fondness and admiration system. Um, question one. This again is a true false. Question one. I can easily listen. I can easily list the three things I most admire about my partner. Mm -hmm. true. When we are apart, I often think fondly of my partner. Mm -hmm. Actually, these are all true. I'm not gonna lie. Everything was true. <laughs> okay, I was literally just finding a cool that'd be a clip put on the video, you know? Yeah. That's it. Number six, I feel loved and cared for in my relationship. Okay. True. Me too. Me too. And 16 is one of those things that I always find like really important, you know, like to to go to sleep happy with the person, you know. Uh, I think I feel like my parents always said, don't ever go to sleep unhappy with the people that you love. Because right. number one, they might not wake up. Number two, it's just not good to go go to sleep like pissed. Yeah, <laughs> you just got like fester in it. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're really good at that. Yeah. Number 16. Um... I am really proud of my partner. That's okay, that's cool. So all true on that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I sure need to all true on the next one too. Although I did have a few that I was like a little mm, about. I put, okay, we'll talk about this one here. Because I got uh, faults on one of them. Number, uh, this turning towards or away. Uh, we enjoy doing even the smallest things together, okay. like folding laundry or watching TV. True. I put true on this one. Yeah. Sure, it's not false in either. Um, number two, I look forward to spending my free time with my partner. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's me too. Um, we have a lot of fun together in our everyday lives. Number eleven. Mm -hmm. I put true. Me too. Number twelve, though, we are spiritually very compatible. Mm -hmm. I put false. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we're compatible. Like that's again, like we're compatible, but we do have like different like spiritual views you know like they don't they don't like affect us to the sense that like they make oh, us like, I crazy spiritually different as in like our energy oh really like that. i didn't think i got you i, I meant like it as I, I, okay well then in that way then i think we're like the same yeah we do have the same kind of view on that i took it as like spiritual like like yeah like spiritual oh, yeah. like the big religion stuff you know like life death all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so and that one i said like